Hello, hello, hello. Hi guys. Good morning. Welcome back to the video. Ki hal chal. I hope you are doing good. In this, we are going to see problem number two, which is find lexicographically largest string from box one. Now, problem three and four are already live. You can just go and watch it. Now, this problem simply says that you are given a string word and an integer number of friends. So I have string and these my number of friends are there. What I have to do is that Alice is organizing a game for her friends and I have total two friends let's say again this can be any number x let's say i have x friends there are multiple rounds in the game where in each round word this specific input word is split into num friends non empty string which means if i have x friends i will split the input word such that ultimately i have x strings and make sure that everything should be covered let's say if my friends would have been three I will cover or I will split this into three specific pieces. Now, and then what I will do, which is again, a split should be non-empty, which means each friend should get at least one string or at least one character. That's a very important stuff. Remember it that each friend, each friend will get at least one character, at least one character with oh, this is one. Now, uh, such that no previous rounds had been exact same split. Again, this is of no use. All split words are put into box. So as I did the split, I will put these word into some box. DB, let's say CA. Ultimately, my maksat target aim is to find the largest string from the box after all these rounds. So forget about the rounds. Ultimately, your target aim is to split the input string such that after split one such specific string again after split one such specific string is lexographically as large as possible now there's a thumb rule for lexographic like lexographical things usually you will encounter lexographically smaller right so always remember although it is mentioned also but always remember it is much easier and you should always remember it that for lexographically smaller stuff smaller character would be first and smaller length for lexography larger larger character should be first and larger length what i mean by that for example i have some strings starting with c i have some strings starting with d i'm not concerned about the length at all right now i will compare the first character d is larger than c so no matter what the length is this will be lexicographically larger okay what if i had the same characters d d okay then next character in this case, it is E C T C. Again, no matter what the length is, this is lexicographically larger. Again, uh, what if it is same, which means D C D C E. Oh, it is empty. It is something. Even if it is A, it is lexicographically larger. So remember this fact. I will not iterate it again, but I have told you a lot of times in recent one week. Also, we saw a problem which involved lexicographically smallest. But in this case, I want lexographically, lex lexographically largest. So one thing you realize from this fact is that you have some specific input string. You have to split it among some friends. Ultimately, you're not concerned about all the friends. You just want one specific box. One specific box will have some specific string and that string should be as max as possible. Considering the constraint that all other seven friends, again, all other seven friends should have at least one, at least one character. Now, obviously, I know that I have to maintain at least one character. I also know that I have to maximize the corresponding length. So there's one fact that you might start thinking of that, uh, you know, Aaron, I will assign one character to all the other friends and myself, I will try to take remaining, remaining uh, string length. So if you had eight friends, your string was of length 10, which means that seven friends will take one character. So you will be left with three characters. How I found it? How I found that by saying n minus friends plus one, because n minus friend will be n, technically n minus for my friends minus one. I am excluding myself, which ultimately results to n minus nf plus one. So I can have a length of three. That is one way how I can approach it. Now, this is one way. Again, I will tell the other way of approaching it also, which is same way that I am looking for the highest possible value. So 
I will go and say, okay, I know that I can start off with any character. Ultimately, remember, Maxer target is to find one such string, right? Okay, so I know that highest character starting can be here or here. If the starting can be either here or here, then I know either my answer will be starting from here or it will start from here. Okay, both are same in this case, move on to next character, move on to next. Okay, again, both are same, move on to next. Okay, oh, this is higher, which means that this, if I start from, if I start from here, this is not good. So ignore it. Okay, ignore it. This is now, this is now my new candidate. Again, uh, there's a possibility that I can have other Ds also, right? Other, uh, other specific strings also. Then obviously, I know that this is my corresponding start. This is my corresponding start. Now compare these two. This is how I can also proceed forward. Now, technically, if you are present here, you know that let's say, let's say if this was, this, like, this was not here. So you know that, okay, you have only one final string, which will start from here. Ultimately, you know that your length should be three because that is the best maximum length which you can achieve. So you can achieve this specific length of three, right? That's it. This is your specific answer. Same way, if I go back and show you, I know that I can start off with the maximum character. And then ultimately, I know that uh, I have two friends in total, which means that I can take the length of three, which means this is the maximum length I can take. Answer is DBC. So ultimately, this is how we can approach it. Now, how we will implement it? Now, the, the way which I told you is most intuitive, but not most intuitive in terms of implementation. Because to implement it, you will have to find all occurrences of maximum character. Then again, let's say all occurrences, which means all occurrences, let's say another all occurrences, then kind of applying the parallel iteration on all of them. Technically, you are allowed to have O of n square, O of n square, you are allowed. So you can apply in these two, find who is the winner or who's the candidate. Then between that candidate and this again, apply, find the candidate again, apply. So this is how you can do it. Again, taking the O of n square time. Or one way is I know very easily that I can start off with some character that is true. And this is always evident that I will start off with the character having the maximum value. But I also know one thing that my length is fixed. Myself, what, I, what, what length I will take is fixed. And that is the maximum length what, what, what I can take, right? Because I want lexicographically largest. So I'll always afford to take maximum length. So maximum length which I can take is n minus nf plus one is the maximum length which I can take. So if I can take maximum length, so why not do one thing? That I know the length is three. Start comparing, okay, length of three. This is one substring, ABC. Then next window, BCD. Is it higher? Again, I will compare simple two string operation. Simple comparing two string. Which string is higher? Is ABC higher than BCD? No, okay, override it. It will become BCD. Then compare next CDC, okay, higher CDC. Compare next DCA, higher, yes, DCA, DCA. Compare next CDA, no, not higher. Again, you, you don't have to manually compare it uh, going character by character, no. Simply compare two strings. Is DCA less than CAD as a string? This is possible in C++. Again, we have a compare to function in Java. So again, in Python also, we have simple comparison. So we can simple compare two strings and with that we can see which is lexicographically larger. Again, how we compare two values? If is the value eight lesser than the value five? No, so this will be false. Same way, again, uh, CAD, okay, not overridden. Next time, ADC. Okay, not overridden. Next time DCC, yes, override it, DCC. Next time CA, not overridden. Okay, so ultimately this is the final answer. This is a much easier implementation, right? Although it went ahead to more, like it, it went ahead to more characters, which are obviously not the good starting positions, but still will give you the better answer. To optimize this, you can do one thing also. Take the starting character, which are the character having the maximum uh, value in the entire string and only iterate on those characters. That is also how you can do it. Cool. Let's see the code. It's exactly very simple. Firstly, if I have only one friend, that friend will be myself. I will take the entire string. If not, then I know my initial, uh, you know, candidate for the string of length M. Again, this is the length of myself. 
this is the length which I can take and again this is the maximum length which I can take because for all the other friends I gave them just one character. Then I will simply iterate on all the indexes and try to build the corresponding substring starting from this index i with the length of m and then seeing and comparing the two strings which is the result which, which I want to maximize and my input string which is a substring starting from the character i starting from the index i and thus with this strategy I will be maximizing my result string or I should say result substring thus maximizing the string also taking the maximum length will give me a lexicographically maximum string now time complexity in this case as you go on to all the indexes it is o of n but at every index i am also grabbing the substring of size m and this m can be in worst case n so it will it is o of n square okay that will, that is the corresponding time now space technically there is no space used as there is uh, no memory which we are using only string which we are maintaining and that string itself is ultimately the result which is not counted as a space so we can say okay we are not using any extra space fine uh, we might argue that okay this might take a space of o of n in worst case yes uh, this can actually be stored and could take o of n space in worst case yeah for that we can simply say o of n is a space complexity cool i hope you guys got it and if you liked it, just go and watch the problem number 3 and 4 also. Bye bye, take care. And again, do watch the huh, important stuff which I told you uh, as a short video down below in description and in the comment section.